Come on. Hi. How happy are you guys? Okay, guys. We are <laughs> staying on the bus tonight. And uh, this is going to be kind of a trial run for the next 10 days as uh, my parents are in town. And so we're going to be staying here in the bedroom. As they stay in my parents' house in the room that we've been staying in. So this is really great because our whole back of the bus is done. And so it's really testing it out. And so we're saying this is our trial 10-day period of just seeing what we need to add to the bus back here to make it good to go. And the dogs are already completely settled in. <laughs> and yeah, we're ready to take notes and just have a good time living bus life. <laughs> <laughs> She's cool. What do you think, my friend? Good talks. <laughs> Good talks. the rain on the roof. Good morning from the bus. <laughs> Good morning, Jake. Tell us. Good morning, Tom. <laughs> hey, what did you just tell me? I said I'm gonna go pee. <laughs> First time he's christening the toilet. <laughs> Are you sitting? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> just looking out the skylight. <laughs> looks like it went well. Looks like it went well. Hi, Jake. You did it. <laughs> I did it. Okay, so right now we are about to test our water lines. Oh, water um, lines. We have all the uh, the plumbing ran. Um, I did a quick air test just to make sure and everything seems good. Uh, so I'm actually gonna run water into it now. Uh, big reason is before we kind of box up all the walls, um, I wanna make sure all the pipes and joints and everything are working good uh, before we kind of seal it in and can't get to it. So just hooked up the hose and we're about to turn it on and see what happens. It could go terribly wrong. So real quick, leave it in the comments. Pause the video and leave it in the comments if you think this is gonna go great or horrible. <laughs> Hopefully great. Okay, I'm gonna turn the hose on and then Ash, if you wanna go inside the bus and check, I have the bed propped up if you wanna check the inlet to make sure nothing crazy happens there. How do I get there quick enough? No, just go in now. Oh dear, okay. I hear lots of things. Okay, stuff okay, is. A slight little leak here. Wait, where? Like right here. Okay, so I have this on here uh, since we don't have the shower on. It's just on a ball valve, so I just want to make sure water's going through. Which, if I turn this. <laughs> Water is going through that. Oh my gosh, and the water pressure was crazy. Ooh, that does not look like good water. Well, it's just the, the bucket. Checking for leaks. Oh, this one's got a leak. Which one? It's all the attachment ones. So we have a little bit of water that you can feel around this attachment and a little bit here. So Scott's yeah, thinking we need some so, more Teflon, right? So yeah, so you can see. So all those are the actual attachments to the shower diverter, um, which I just might just need to put more Teflon tape on, uh, like the plumbing tape, and just secure it a little better. All the other joints are fine. They're, those are the only ones though that are actually like hand screwed on. They're not like the click and lock shark bite ones. Um, so. So you didn't use your strong arm. Probably. <laughs> User error. <laughs> okay, so I just turned the hose off and uh, there's those three points that I need to tighten up And so right now what we're gonna do is we're actually just gonna empty the line uh, So then I can fix those three fit-ins and then hopefully run again The good news is is like all the other fit-ins seem to be working fantastic. So it's just these three that I need to work on
Okay, so we actually got a little uh, valve so we can flush the lines and so I'm gonna hook that up to the air compressor uh, just because we took off the water line right now and uh, since I want to work on it, I know some of the water won't, will still be in the lines so we're just gonna put some air through it and push it out through that same valve, hopefully. Oh, that's not that bad. Woo! <laughs> Thank you for the pressure. Okay, so all in all, it was pretty much a success. Yep, the only three, <laughs> like I said, that are leaking are the shower diverter ones. Yep. And I think I only put like three spools of um, the tape around, which apparently you're supposed to put like seven or eight, so. Why'd you do uh, three? Because I didn't know. Because I always, I never want to put too much because I feel like it's not going to go on. Um, and so I'm going to have to take that part apart. I'm going to have to take that part apart. And then, uh, retest it again but yeah everything's good so far so happy running water today okay so we last left you as we were doing our move into the bus kind of like start staying in here and that's when everything went wrong so yeah today is actually i think three nights after we spent the first night on the bus and that night was pretty crazy. It got to freezing temperatures. We had flash <laughs> flooding weather. And then along with that, I also, and this might be TMI, uh, developed a grade for hemorrhoid. Um, and pretty so gnarly. it was super excruciating that night. And so much so that I actually had to go to the doctors the next day and have uh, kind of like a minor surgery on it uh, to help get it removed. <laughs> So needless to say, uh, the next night we did not spend in the bus because um, I kind of needed a bathroom on hand. And since <laughs> and our bathroom in progress. wasn't ready yet, uh, we kind of spent a couple of days uh, in the house again. And we back out on the bus because I'm feeling much better. And uh, yeah, things are going well. Things are going well. <laughs> and to be clear, the hemorrhoid was not a result of sleeping in the bus. No. <laughs> it wasn't so cold in here that that happened. <laughs> it, was, it was the day before. <laughs> it was prior to that. <laughs> okay, you guys, so that's where we're going to leave you for this week. A bunch of random things to just kind of try to start catching you up to speed with what's been going on in our lives. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe. It doesn't cost anything, but it means the world to us. And we'll be back next week. Week.